Oh yeah, the Sleesh Boogie, or the Swish Bowie, or the Swish Bluey. Call it what you want to. It is a bad ass knife. Lots of people wanting this knife and for very good reason. It is a great knife. <clears throat> now I had the original version and no matter every different light you put this thing in, it changes colors. It's crazy. Um, I had the Blades We Love original version, which had one of the nicest things about the Swish Bowie was the finish on the blade, the polished stone wash. This is really nice, don't get me wrong, this is great. Um, but the, a big thing about the original one was that polished stone wash. Um, the other nice thing was the stone wash titanium scales. So I think what makes the this knife so appealing to people is its simplicity. It's just the perfect shape, uh, you know, the perfect ergos. Uh, it functions great. It's it's not running on bearings. It's not trying to do any, it's not trying to be anything that's not. It's just a great design. It's just a great knife. Uh, it's not the end all be all the knives, but it is a great knife and it will go down in knife history as one of the greats. Uh, <clears throat> I think putting M390 on here was a cool move. Uh, but I don't think you gained a whole lot over uh, CTS XHP. I'm a huge fan of that steel. I love it. It holds an edge forever and, you know, stain resistant. This is just a great knife. Uh, I heard some other reviewers mention it didn't have an over travel stop and a uh, <clears throat> lock bar insert. These knives don't need it. They're... <clears throat> the Tai Chung factory does a great job with these knives. Uh, they're just, it's, I think it's Spyderco's finest factory. There's, there's not a whole lot to say about this. I'm really just showing it off. Everyone knows what this knife is, knows what the size it is. Most people have either owned one or held one. Uh, I'm really glad this drop came <clears throat> because the reason I don't have my other one is because I was offered double what I paid for it. And I just, felt foolish hanging on to it when it somebody was willing to pay that amount of money for it. Uh, I actually traded a knife that was worth double what I paid for that knife. <clears throat> so I, I traded it and I uh, haven't really regretted it since. Um, I absolutely wish I still had it, but I wouldn't trade the uh, knife that I still have today that I got for it. So um, I will say, I think one of the big questions is, is the, is this knife the same caliber as the original? And I would say uh, almost. It's it's right there at it. And those are just personal preferences maybe because I loved that the finish of that mirror polished stone wash. I mean, it was, it was just awesome. And the uh, simplicity of the stone wash scales because you could, you know, bang and scratch the knife up and it just didn't show any wear because it was simple. This is a simplistic knife. This would be really cool with a different backspacer that kind of makes it look utilitarian or maybe some standoffs, but uh, I'm absolutely glad I bought it. I don't think it's overpriced. I, I don't see how anyone can call this knife overpriced <clears throat> when they're selling for a thousand dollars on eBay, knowing there's another drop coming. Uh, so this $400 is not crazy for this knife. An object is worth what someone is willing to pay for it. And obviously we're all fighting to the death to get in there and pay for it. I mean, the, the site crashed on me like 50 times uh, when I was trying to buy it because of the outrageous traffic that hit it. Uh, and to be fair to KnifeJoy, I don't think anyone has a site that could handle the traffic that this knife's gonna bring. And why would you spend 
ridiculous amounts of money to have a site that will handle that amount of traffic when you don't normally get that amount of traffic. It wouldn't make any sense. I think they did a great job. I appreciate them uh, dropping this knife. I appreciate them forking out the money to get us this knife. And uh, yeah, thank you, Knife Joy. Thank you, Zach Cooper. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope any of you that want one are able to get one in the next drop or the following drop. I've, I've seen several times that this is not the only drop. There's going to be more. So there'll be more opportunities to get one. And uh, if you're on the fence and don't know if this knife is worth it, I, I, I'm telling you that it is. It's a great knife. Uh, if you ever get a chance to get your hands on an original one you can afford, I would advise that too. I would not pay a thousand for it. I think that's way, way overhyped. But, you know, $500, I don't think is crazy. Five, 600 if you can find one for that that's in really good shape. Um, but that's if you just really want one. It, it is a, it's a lot of money. If you look at a, an object for what its value is, just materials and labor, that's one thing. But desirability and availability are two other things you have to consider. And these are not available. You can't just jump on any site and buy these. Nobody has them. The only place to get one is on eBay and pay one of the thousand dollar prices that are on there and i'm i'm definitely not doing that but some people that's the only way they have to get one they weren't able to make the drop so i'm not dogging anybody out for that anyway really cool the swish boogie swish bluey swish buoy god bless you and your families say a prayer for our country good night